Mass Shorts. Slicing solid, three-dimensional figures results in different two-dimensional shapes, depending on how you slice them. If you cut through a cylinder with a geometric plane parallel to the cylinder's base, the two-dimensional cross-section is a circle. Any way you slice it, you can get two-dimensional shapes from three-dimensional figures. When you slice a cylinder from top to bottom that is perpendicular to its base, then look at the cross-section straight on. You get a rectangle. What happens when you slice a square pyramid? If you slice across the pyramid with your plane parallel to the pyramid's base, the cross-section is a square. If you slice with your plane perpendicular to the pyramid's base, the cross-section is a triangle. Remember, you're slicing a solid, three-dimensional figure with a geometric plane. You can slice in any direction. Just keep in mind that shapes can look different when you look at them from different angles. So orient the cross-section on the geometric plane. Slicing diagonally can produce different shapes, such as an ellipse or a trapezoid. Understanding the two-dimensional shapes that result from slicing solid, three-dimensional figures is important for geometry and ninjas.